Today, we're going to explore Photoshop Beta's new feature, which allows you to use the Generative Fill tool with a reference image. To install Photoshop Beta, open Creative Cloud, go to the Apps section, find the Beta tab, and install Photoshop Beta there. We're going to start off with this image. I will make a selection and use Generative Fill in the Contextual Taskbar. If you can't see it, go to Window and make sure you have the Contextual Taskbar checked. Click on the Generative Fill, and now you have this option for Reference Image. Here we can import an image, so I'll choose this one with a green chair. Photoshop recommends the reference photo to be isolated on white or transparent background. We can also check this option to remove the background, which should give us better results. Now you have this blue check mark in the icon, meaning that the photo was imported successfully. So let's hit generate. And this is the result. Looks pretty similar to the reference image. Let's try this on another photo. So again, click the generative fill, then the reference image icon, then choose a file. This time, I'll choose this painting. Let's remove the background again and click Generate. Wait for the processing and done. Now, I was expecting this feature to be available when replacing the background as well, but currently that's not available. When I click Remove Background, we have this option to generate background, but here there's no reference image setting. I can only import the background, which is just going to place the photo behind the subject, but I wanted to generate a similar background instead. Hopefully, Adobe will add this in a future version of Photoshop. Now click on this paintbrush icon with a minus next to it to remove this part of the photo. And to generate the background, hold the command key and click on the mask to make a selection, then use command plus shift plus I to invert the selection. And now we can click on generative fill and we have the reference image settings here. I'll import this photo and hit generate. The generated results are pretty good. They replicate really well the style of the reference photo. Obviously, if we zoom in, we see that this needs to be blended further. What do you think of this new feature? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to learn more, check out this video on the screen that YouTube is recommending for you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Creative Society.